I found a stack that claims to have a 100% win rate of Football Manager 2024. I don't believe it, so I'm going to have to test it out. And the tactic tester didn't use a team like Man City or Bayern Munich. They got these results playing as Chelsea. I'm going to test it out in my Gateshead save. We're currently top of the league, but we're not the best team in the division. And I've got like 10 more games until the end of the season. So it's a bit risky to actually do this right now. But I'm going to show you how I'm plugging the system and try to get my players ready to actually play this tactic and see how well we can do if we can actually keep up that 100% win ratio. But before I send my players out on the pitch with this new tactical idea we have to set some things straight my players are not used to the system and like i mentioned we have like 10 games until the end of the season and of course we we'll still have to win the league so first i'm going to plug in my tactic into the third slot and set it to primary tactic i won't take out my main tactic though i've been using that all season i kind of want to retain that next is to switch my training shadows and kind of give the players the right roles and positions ramp up the training intensity just a little bit throw in some match training and tactical training into the shadows we'll see how the first game goes i know it's a bit risky to actually do this towards the latter end of the season but i feel that the football manager 2024 ai is really smart this year so i want to try and stay one step ahead of them in our first game trying out this tactic against maidenhead we didn't actually start the game with the new tactic we started with our normal system playing the first half and we scored early via an on goal from the maidenhead defense and after the 75th minute once i felt that the game was kind of comfortable i switched to the new tactic we did get one more goal, but that was the way the game went on to finish. Comfortable win, on to the next one. In our first game, starting the tactic from the beginning of the match, we had a somewhat easy game against Ebb's fleet. We were expected to actually win this game, so we did go ahead by two goals to no before half time. Ebb's fleet somehow found their way back into the game. Now, look at this second goal for their equalizer. We ran away with the game after they scored their second goals, but they had the last laugh in the 83rd minute with a header from Dominic Polion. We started the tactic from the beginning of the game in the match against Hartlepool and it was a quiet game. We did go ahead with the penalty and despite having a number of chances in the second half, Hartlepool defended well and were only able to come up with a 1-0 win. The end of the road came against Woking. To be honest, my players didn't really play very well. Everyone chose this particular day to have an off game. We're three goals down by halftime and I can't really tell you it was down to the tactic but at that point the game was done. I was tempted to make changes to the tactic but I kind of stuck to my guns to try and see it out to the end and in the second half we did play well. We did create a lot of chances. We had 68% possession. That means they kind of gave us possession of the ball immediately after scoring all the three goals. We kind of dominated the game whole lot but it wasn't enough to actually get a goal so there are six games to go now we will do our best to try to win the league with our main tactic but first we're going to look at the new tactic that was supposedly supposed to make 100 win ratio it didn't for us with gateshead and this is the system that the tactic rate actually came up with is the fmct 4336 that becomes a four but all becomes a 2341 in attack inverted wing backs on support duty and then it has a standard goalkeeper on defense two standard central defenders as well and a defensive midfielder also on defense so it's almost like the team is split into a block of defense and then midfielders and of course most of these central midfielders are also on attack this is one advanced playmaker on attack dt as well and then two wingers on attack with a pressing forward as well on attack internal instructions there aren't that many for the tactic that i've seen what the creator went on to do not a lot of internal player instructions for them so that's fine team wise when they're out of possession he's playing with a high press and then he has a lot of aggressive marking stepping up more getting stuck in pressing more often and then he's also trapping the opposition out wide in transition there's a counter press and then counter a goalkeeper is distributing the ball to the center backs it's similar to what i'm currently playing with my own system but i feel on his own tactic there are a lot of team instructions selected compared to the one that i'm currently using that actually got me a lot of good results now my recent defeat wasn't really down to the tactic per se it's obviously going to take a lot of tests to actually feel it was down to the tactic that we went on to lose that game but looking at the team's tactic in possession still similar to what i do with my own system shorter passing with standard passing fairly attacking or fairly wide attacking with they're passing into space and also playing out of defense so he's a bit patient but then you can see that there's a runner defense instruction in here they're also being more expressive i don't actually have this on in my main tactic and then walk ball into the box that instruction we also share generally the mentality is positive but we're going to see how well we do towards the end of the season so we won the final game of the season and we won the league two games before that a 1-0 win over barnet was enough and then we had 91 points with a goal difference of 31 now most of our wins did not come from the new tactic that we were testing out in the last 10 games it came from one of my main tactics with gateshead which is the lower league tiki taka designed for gateshead themselves from last season oh it's actually this season i've done a brief video about this tactic before for football manager 2023 i 
kind of transferred my Gateshead save into Football Manager 2024, but the tactics still kind of works the same way and it got us good results even in FM24. My super keeper is a super keeper on defend DT, and then I have two central defenders both on defend DT, and I also have a fullback on support DT and the other on attack. I did tweak the Gateshead tactic to have a more attacking feel to it. So this is the attacking version. Most of the roles are very similar, but you notice that the fullback here is on attack DT instead of support. My deep line playmaker remains the same as the deep line playmaker on support DT, and then I have a ball when he made for that on support and then a Metala on attack DT on the right hand side. Oli did well in this role. My front three I had an inverted winger on support DT on the left hand side and a winger on support DT on the right hand side with my striker, my main striker, my wonderful wonderful striker in Connor McBride. He played as a pressing forward on attack DT and he went on to have the third most goals in the league. He had 26 goals all season. The other top two, I think I actually need to sign this Matt Warburton guy. He went on to score 30 goals in the league. Team stats wise, most goals were scored by Eastley. They had 89 goals. We scored 79, but then we had the most points. We gained 1.98. We had the most possession in 62. That kind of dropped from 63 percent possession it was 63 at some point so we did drop it down to 62 just because we actually changed the system to the attacking system that did not allow us hold on to possession that much i wasn't really obsessed with possession towards the latter ending of the season fewest shots against we had 366 and the most clean sheets we were in fourth place with 17 clean sheets all season so both tactics are really different from the way they operate thus the balance system has a possession feel to it there's shorter passing and lower tempo and frequent time wasting with the system there's walk the ball into the box as well and you can see in transition also slowing the pace down and regrouping often this is always disabled or set to counter press this regroup was actually towards the latter end and the latter periods of the season of course but out of possession we play with a mid block and a much or should i say a more often trigger press attack wise you notice that the only slight change with the counter press still stayed and then in attacking in possession instruction everything is standard but we're still playing out of defense and working the ball into the box we're still dribbling less but the intent is a lot more attacking now and while we're out of possession we're no longer playing with the mid block is high press and high defensive line and of course we're preventing the short goalkeeper distribution trying to force the opposition to make a lot of mistakes and then we can go on to pounce from there so the 100 percent win ratio tactic did didn't work for me but it could work for you we've given a brief breakdown to that tactic if you saw it earlier in the video but i'm still going to attach a link in the description so you can download that tactic for yourself and test it out and see how it works out for you i'll be back with more football manager tactic videos like this if you did enjoy this one remember to hit the subscribe button and also leave a like on this video and if you have any questions about football manager 2024 do let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video